Hi there, so this video is about replacing the battery in a 2013 Prius uh, 4. This Prius is totally dead. We found the battery was dead, put a voltmeter across the battery and about 3 volts. So anyway, I pulled the battery out, which wasn't very hard. All you need is a 10mm uh, wrench and 10 millimeter socket and you pull this off the side of the battery. And you take these terminals off with a 10 millimeter wrench, right about there. 10 millimeter wrench and the most important part is you go to Toyota and you buy the proper battery. This battery here in California at Stevens Creek Toyota was about $213 and I turned in the old battery which they call a core and they gave me a $15 credit. I think out the door this thing was about $231 with tax. Anyway, you don't want to fool around with the battery. You want to put a decent battery in here from Toyota. I wouldn't put in any other battery. Don't put an Optima in here. Don't put any Exide in here. Don't put a Walmart battery in here. Put in the proper battery from Toyota. You don't want to mess around with a sensitive car. Electronics and this thing and everything else, putting in some garbage battery. So this is a 2019 battery called Toyota True Start. I suppose this is what they're giving uh, everybody now. Anyway, let's put this thing in. So I'm just going to remove this from the box and put it in. There it is, out of the box. Now, let's place the battery back in the car. And this battery was mounted sideways. The negative terminal is the smaller one, and that is toward the back. So, rotate the battery and shove it in here. Yeah. There. It's in. Let me get back here. And there's so much junk in the car here, you want to kind of get some room. I'm going to climb in here without breaking anything. Is I weigh about 215 pounds. I'm not light myself. All right, I'm standing on a spare tire here and hoping to orient this battery. And it looks good. There's like a sensor on top of the uh, sensor on top of the uh, strap mount here, so I didn't want to mess with that. I just want to make sure it's uh, it's in well. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's in on that side. And so the first thing I do when I put these batteries in to make sure that the uh, strap goes on and here put the strap on right there put some light in here there we go put that strap on and put it in the correct hole so we go back one notch there and looks like it'll go in like that so that's good here's the nut that goes on there place that nut on make sure this stuff's all on finger tight for now just to make sure it all goes together. Put that on. Put this one in down here. These are all 10 millimeter, by the way. All right, finger tight. Now, that's in case you gotta move the battery around. That sensor looks good. You wanna make sure this little water thing, this little excess acid um, hose is plugged in the side here. So plug it into what clicks. Okay, there it's clicked, it's in. It goes in about that far, as you can see. Make sure that's in there. You don't want raw battery acid getting into the trunk of the car. Okay, now for the negative terminal. There it is. We'll put the plus on first. They say to always do that, so. Plus terminal on first. Okay, there it is, and just kind of Wiggle it on here. And what I do is just wiggle these down. So it's opened up a good bit. You can see where it's it's open here. It's just twist it down until it's on well. That doesn't look good. So the battery has a little cavity here for this little piece to go down. And it doesn't want to go on there. There, that seems better. I almost want to tap that down a bit. Okay, turning it hard. Yeah, it's going down. Just make sure it's on there. Okay, that looks good. Let's get this one on. It'll probably spark now a little bit. It should. You'd think it would, right? The battery has any juice in it. It didn't spark at all. The 
battery is now on the circuit. Okay, so for the back one, a 10 millimeter wrench, and for the front one, a 10 millimeter socket. Here's the uh, 10 millimeter wrench. So for this back one, you just want to snug it up a little bit. Put the wrench on here and snug it up. It's hard to get a good picture of the end bolt. There it is. Just going to snug it up a little bit. Until it's snug. It takes about 10 minutes to get the battery back in. It doesn't take long. Well, the video is running at five minutes right now. Don't make this super tight and break the uh, post. There, because you don't want to crush the, you don't want to ruin the, uh, you don't want to ruin the adapter, so you don't ever take this all the way down. You just make sure it's snug. So that's, that's snug, and you want a gap here. You don't want to see these two bars touching. That means you way over tightened it. You don't want to keep it too loose because it'll spark and come off, but too tight, you're going to ruin the uh, clamp. Okay, so that's that. Now for the front one, we can use a 10 millimeter socket right here. And again, we're not going to kill this thing or we tighten it. We're just going to tighten it gently, okay? And don't hit the car with this because you'll get a big spark. Don't hit the body right now because the battery's live. If you Actually, I should have tightened this thing up before I put the negative on. So this was a no no, but ah, it sparked. Look at that spark right there. See that? So I'm not being very careful, but don't do this one uh, first with the negative unconnected, okay? Don't do it like this. Okay, that's on. Not too tight. Put the cap on here. Let's tighten up this little bolt here. Like that. Pretty tight, don't kill it. That's good. Pop bolt here, tight, don't kill it. Okay. That one may tighten down a long way. Or will it? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't want to make it too tight. Check the battery, is it tight? Damn tight, okay, that's tight enough. Okay, the battery's in. Uh, time to put the uh, plastic parts back in, like this thing here, which I took out for the access to screw. Put little feetsies in here, in the back, tuck it in. Put these side nubbies in here. Okay, that's it. That's on tight. There's a cover that goes on this thing, if I can find it. And put that big cover on and we're done. Then the whole back of the car goes back together. All right, well, seeing as I can't find that cover yet, don't know where it went. You can suffice it to say that you put the covers back on and take your tools out of the car and the battery is uh, installed. Let's see if the car works. Open the door, it should go, ah. Okay, let's see what happens. Yep, there's lights. Sounds like a Prius to me. So, that was our issue with a bad battery here. All right, I'm looking for the uh, battery cover. Don't know where it went. Things have been tossed all around the house here. There's the hatch. The hatch, I couldn't get in the hatch. So, the way you get in the hatch is you got to pull all the stuff out to get in the hatch when the hatch is, is locked. And there's a little, little um, door here. It's actually down here. There's a little thing right here. And you want to basically get in the hatch. And there's a little silver thing you have to twiddle with right here. So. This thing here, you're gonna move that to open the hatch, okay? So your hatch is stuck. You access the hatch, this hole 
by taking your carpet out and your tools out and hit that open the hatch. All right, thanks for watching, have a great day.